Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pet Hitcher channel, it's me John, and today we're going to steer a little bit off of the typical uh, video. There's still going to be food involved and me eating it and me telling you, me telling you what I think about it, uh, but the overall approach is going to be slightly askew. Today, what I have for you is this. This is the Hot Ones boneless chicken bites and it has the hot ones challenge because it has three sauces inside of here and those sauces are their classic hot sauce their los calientes hot sauce which is mild and medium but then they also have their Apollo Last Dab Extremely Spicy Hot Sauce. Uh, just so you know, you cannot currently purchase this bag that I have here. The three sauce packets with the these three that I'm speaking of right here. However, um, what they've replaced it with is like a line of items. Um, you can still get one that has the classic, you can still get one that has the Los Calientes, but they now have a smoky habanero, a spicy garlic chicken, and a boneless barbacoa of chicken bites. And those all come with a different sauce pack. I believe they're the same chicken bites I think you just buy one and it comes with a specific type of sauce pack with it but this one when it, it came out a while ago was I think these are only available in Walmart all the hot ones uh, chicken bites only available in Walmart um, but I got this a while ago and it's just been in the freezer for a while um, but uh, recently I'm just trying to go over a few things that I've had uh, sitting around that I have not done yet and that's why I came up with this uh, I think the biggest issue with why I haven't did it was just become, coming up with a way to do the video to make it interesting. Um, and this probably isn't going to be too interesting, but it's the best idea I came up with. So that's what you're going to get today. Uh, so what I've decided to do uh, is, because you're supposed to like ask questions, um, I don't really have a big enough... YouTube following to do like a, a live video and have people ask me questions. So I've basically just Googled a website that has 60 hot seat questions. In front of me I have three bowls, each containing three chicken bites each. The one with the lid is the Apollo one, but this is the original, and this is the Los Calientes. I have I've already drank in a glass of water before I started, but I have a few drinks to my available. I have some Topo Chico. I have a bottle of butter beer that I got at the Harry Potter Magic at Play in Chicago. Um, short review of that is it's very expensive. Don't bother getting the premium tickets because they don't give you anything but like a cheap tote bag. Um, and you get to cut like the first line, which was maybe five minutes long to begin with. And you get a free coat check that's worth $3. If you want any of those things, just buy them. In fact, I have all these tote bags. I'll give you one for free if you really want one. Um, but maybe I'll try some of that butterbeer that I bought while I was there. And of course I have a glass of milk just in case as well. Um, so I have a list of 60 hot seat questions. Um, I'm going to go through them, answer them if I can't, and or answer them if I can, but if I don't feel like answering them, I'm going to eat one of these pieces of chicken. I'm going to start with the classic one. Uh, we'll do like three questions for the classics, three questions for Los Calientes, and then three questions for the Apollo um, and then at the end, if I, if I feel like I haven't eaten enough chicken, I'll just take a bite of each chicken. Here we go. Question numero uno. 
what is the worst job you've ever had? Uh, well, I'm glad I wasn't asked like to really explain it, but um, I would say the worst job I've ever had was the job I had previous to the one I have. No, wait, I take that back because I had a short-term job in between the second to last job I ever had. Um, I won't say the name of the company uh, because it's changed so often, um, but it was in um, health care. Uh, specifically like helping people get to uh, either like refunds that insurance paid too much or hospital charged too much or getting um, people on a Medicaid plan um, that they qualify for so that they can have insurance at a hospital stuff like that question number two what is one thing you deeply regret? I can't think of anything specific. I'm just need a piece of chicken. Here we go. I'm gonna swirl this around in the sauce that's sitting here. This is the the classic hot sauce. This is a mild sauce. I have a fork so I don't have to put it in my fingers. Here we go. The chicken itself is very white. It's already fully cooked. I mean, frozen. So this white meat chicken. Well, that's just tasty. This sauce kind of reminds me, and this is the first time I've ever had any hot ones, sauces, or items at all. But uh, that's pretty good. It has like a fresh bell peppery flavor as well as spice to it. Um, when it comes to what that spice with, it's an organic chili de arbol peppers. Um, there's turmeric, garlic, apple cider vinegar, uh, salt, garlic, uh, chili de arbol, which is uh, tasty. Moving on. This is the final question for, this is question number three, it's the final question for the classic. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? In the world. Um, huh. Well, it have to be primarily English speaking because I don't really speak any other languages. Um, it couldn't be anywhere that's too cold or too hot. Somewhere where there's things to do, but also somewhere where I had my own privacy. Not too crowded. Um, probably like, I don't know, some mansion in Wisconsin. I don't know. Moving on. Question four. Which of your family members are you closest with? I mean, if you count your wife and children family, then you should. That's them. My wife and my two kids. That's easy, right? What is one of your first memories? <clears throat> This is question number five. Uh, one of my first memories, I do remember... Uh, 
I remember like my first day of kindergarten, or it might have been like an introductory day of kindergarten. Um, I remember there being donuts and I ate too many and I got in trouble. I don't know if I, I probably have some of the memories that are really that because I think I remember going to the library before kindergarten. Not like anything specific about it. What's your favorite movie genre? Favorite movie genre? I don't know, like uh, sci fi and fantasy, probably. Um, what is one thing you excelled in at school? Um, well, I was very good in math. I went to college for that and have a degree in math, but uh, yeah, probably that. What is your favorite or funniest Halloween costume? I don't know, I got a bunch of them. Um, I'll just name a few. Uh, I dressed as Prince one year. I dressed as Ghostbusters guy one year. In college, I, I bought a wizard zone when I put math symbols on it. I called myself the Math Magician. Those are some of my favorites. Which of your past birthdays was your favorite? I don't know. I'm just gonna eat one of these because, like, I've never been like too worried about my own birthdays. All right, so here we go. This is Los Calientes hot sauce. This is medium. This is spiced with smoked red jalapeno and habanero. It also has apricot, apple cider vinegar, agave nectar, lemon juice, tomatillo, water, garlic, salt, toasted onion, cumin, cilantro, black pepper, thyme, and celery seeds. This is a lot more flavored than uh, that original one. It's also the only one on here that has any caloric content. It says five calories per teaspoon. Both of the other sauces say zero. Here we go. The Los Calientes. That's off. Again, super white interior. It's a weird combination of what looks like full full meat chicken, but like also some kind of reformed chicken there as well. This one is much more spicy, much more flavorful in general. I spent more than three questions on that one because I wanted to eventually try it. But um, we'll, get, we'll get through that. I'm guessing this is somewhere between eight and 13,000 Scoville heat units for that one. It doesn't say anywhere on here what the square heat units are. It just says, oh, the first one says 2 out of 10. This one's 5 out of 10. And the Apollo one is 11 out of 10. I wonder if on their website they have the uh, Scoville heat units. Not ones. Scoville scale. Uh, the classic is 1800, 1800. Los Calientes is 36,000. Wow. It's more than I thought it would be. I've had um, plenty of ramen that were less spicy than that. Probably just because it's just a little bit on the surface, and ramen's usually like a sauce or a soup that's all encompassing. Um, and then the hot one's last dab one is two million plus. So this one, that one should be scary. Back to the questions. What is your dream job? I was actually thinking about this recently. 
my dream job would be working for uh, the Retin Link channel, specifically in their sport division. Um, I think they're they're missing in the demographic of older people. All the people on sports seem to be young. What would you consider your... Oh, wait. Where was your birthplace, and do you still live there? Um, no. Well, in Illinois, yes. But not specifically the same city. Uh, when I was born, my parents were living in Blue Island. But now I live in the city of Chicago. What would you consider to be your spirit animal? Hmm. Probably an owl. Owls are like wise and they're also like night owl is a thing and I'm a very much uh, a night person. What is your go-to pizza order? Uh, pepperoni and pineapple. I like the combination. Sometimes with something spicy as well like a banana pepper or a jalapeno pepper. What is your biggest pet peeve? Hmm. Huh. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but I think like one thing that I notice that annoys me most often are uh, terrible drivers or uh, selfish drivers. Like you might be good at driving, but like you care more too much about yourself that you put other people in danger kind of situation. Um, I've actually considered bringing that up as part of my channel, doing a little discussions about it and other things I talk about other than food. Uh, We'll see. What scary movie did you watch growing up that haunts you? Well, I don't remember watching too many scary movies growing up. And for that reason, I don't really have memories of things that like come to mind too often. So I guess that means I have to eat. I Apollo chicken. Removing the lid. One of the reasons why I move the, lid, remove the lid so I can drizzle that up and like shake it up in there. Because even though these look the least saucy, believe me, they're sauce on there. You can see from the lid when I shook it up, there was sauce on there. Here we go. This is Hot Ones Last Dab of the Apollo. It's made with the Apollo pepper, distilled vinegar, Apollo pepper powder, and Apollo pepper distillate. It uh, has the smell of, of things that I don't want. And let's see what it tastes like. Here we go. I have that. Insane spice. <clears throat> Ghost pepper like flavor. Scorpion. <coughs> Spinach. It smells like them. Well, I feel my uh, my head heating up to the point of sweating. Definite pain in my mouth. <coughs> mouth. If this was a scary movie, actually, this this the memory of spices like this haunts me.
Let's go for some Dope Chico. Oh man, that's not helping. I'm going straight for the milk. since I've had a challenge level spicy thing like that. Eyes watering. Mouth still hurting. Delicious milk. Let's put the lid back on that. Because we're done with the uh, with that one for sure. I have to have another one. The mouth thing. Oh man, that. <coughs> That's spicy. I'm gonna try some of this butter beer. Let I finish that milk. Maybe the sweetness will help. It's butterscotchy, that's for sure. Okay. The mouth is still hurting, but uh, it feels like it's at a much more bearable level. Yeah, unnecessarily hot. <laughs> Another reason why I put this off for a while. Let's ask some more questions while I'm recovering. If you could go to any concert right now, who would you go see? Well, this year, I've already seen they might be giants. 
Here's your LEA key. Um, in recent years, I've also seen um, the Doobie Brothers with Michael McDonald. Tenacious D was a few years ago. Uh, Flight of the Concords. Um, a long time ago, I saw Garfunkel and Oates. Um, <sighs> there's another one that, for some reason, I can't think of the name of. <sighs> I got the song Asia, A J A, Asia. Steely Dan, that was it. Oh, huh. that's a good one. Um, but. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer this in a different way. Um, if I can go to any concert right now, I want to go to a Frank Zappa concert, but he's dead, so I can't go to a Frank Zappa concert. What would your dream vacation look like for you? One, uh, the vacation that I want to really go on right now I want to go to a few places uh, that are relatively close to each other. I want to go to Japan, Hong Kong, South Korea, those for sure. Uh, but like, if it was a dream vacation, then I also like go basically all around there, Philippines, Vietnam. I want to have like ramen and sushi. I want to see a, a, a baseball game in those countries as well. What is your biggest irrational fear? I don't know, I consider this rational. Uh, but uh, open uh, open water that you can't see the bottom of. What are some of the nicknames? What are some of your nicknames? And which is your favorite? Uh, well, the channel's name is Fat Hipster. I kind of gave myself that. Um, see, I'm almost at 30 minutes, so. We're going to do this one, maybe no, one more after that, and then we'll call it done. Uh, but uh, Johnny, Johnny G, um, I also gave myself the Math Magician at one point. <laughs> I think those are really the only ones that really... I remember sticking or me responding to. Okay, last question. When you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, interestingly, um, I wanted to, I remember having this vision of a, a, a mall that was just restaurants. Uh, like I just called it the food mall. Basically, like if you took like the concept of a food court, but instead of like little kiosks, it was full on restaurants everywhere. Um, that's what I wanted to do when I grew when I was young. I wanted to make that thing. Uh, but really, now all I want to do is have something like that just so I can go and try something different every day. Uh, that's kind of like what my dream job would be. Getting paid to give you my opinion on things, specifically food. Okay, well, my mouth 
seems to have made a full recovery. And I don't want this to be too much more than 30 minutes, so we're going to end it here. I hope you liked the video. Again, I did the, the Hop Ones Challenge. I tasted a piece of chicken with all three of those hot sauces. Um, and I did not die yet. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. So long. Goodbye.